Hello and welcome back. We are now in lesson 14, which is all about sharing documents. So when you develop a document, when you work in teams, it could involve multiple team members to construct one good document. So if you collaborate with others to create or edit a document, you could take advantage of many features in words, such as tracking changes and adding comments to a document, and which will go right into this step. Step 14.1, go into your Lesson 14 folder and open up your Step 14.1 document. And save this document in your Lesson 14 folder as ergonomics. Now, make sure your document is in pr print layout view. So we will verify by going to view and making sure print layout view is toggled on. And we'll primarily be focused on the review tab for this lesson. So click on your review tab. And in the track changes group, the tracking group, Toggle on your track changes button arrow. See that little arrow? Drop down on the arrow. And click track changes options. Now notice that you have a dialog box that um, gives you several different options that opened up. This is our track changes option bo box. Just take a look at the settings. They'll mean something to you later. Basically, when you mark up a document and several different users mark up the same document, you want each user to be assigned a different color so that you can distinguish between who has marked up what um, in the document. So notice you can have a markup if you do underline, strike throughs, borders, by Arthur, you can assign the colors and so on and so forth. So we're not going to make any changes. I just wanted you to see these options so when you really start the work of tracking changes, you know where to go. So click OK. Now, go back up to your track changes group and toggle on the top half of the button to toggle on your track changes and notice it turns into like a gold color which lets you know that it is on. Alright, so position the insertion point at the beginning of the second paragraph here that begins with did you know and enter the following sentence and I'm going to zoom in so you can see exactly what I'm typing. Alright, so in front of did you know you're going to type when you think about using a computer you don't usually think about comfort and health period one space but maybe you should period space now, notice that the, the sentence that we just entered is in red, and it also has a underline underneath it. So basically, with the default settings that we looked at, set it up that the color's red and that it'll underline as we enter additional text. Now, notice, too, this line here. This vertical line indicates that the lines of text have revisions. So we basically revised um, the document. Press enter. And one thing I forgot to mention is turn on your show hide button. All right, go back to your review tab. Now, scroll down. And in the second sentence to the last paragraph, delete 
the word office. So find office, here it is. Double click to select the word and simply press delete. And notice that it deletes the word office but it still remains intact in your document. It just turns red and it puts a strike through in the word. When you position your mouse over the deleted word it should give you a screen tip. So it says Chandler, February 2nd, 2015 at 556, deleted the word office. So that's one great thing about tracking changes. Um, all of the changes remain intact. However, they turn a different color and have a strike through or something like that. And you also get that screen tip to tell you exactly who did what as well. All right. So click your tra track changes button arrow drop down and select change username now the purpose would be say for example the second person is ready to track changes to the document we'll see how that looks in just a second so select change username and pay attention to the username and the initial I believe yours should say Gilmore and the initial. I'm not sure what the initial is, but make sure you pay attention to it. So I will select my username and type reviewer one and tab down. And for the initials, type R1 and press OK. Okay, so in the first sentence, in the fourth paragraph, double click the word growing. Now, one shortcut is control F and type growing. And here it is, it's selected for us. So select, double click the word growing and enter the word increase. increase in at the word in okay so notice that the markup appears in a different color we still have the strike through that says the word growing was deleted and increase in was added in and again you get that screen tip by placing your mouse over the word and it tells us reviewer one which is the user we just added made this change on February 2nd, 2015 at 5.59. So the great thing about this option is that I can look and just tell by the colors who did what, what, what user um, did what to the document. So um, go up to, let's see, the, <coughs> excuse me, show markup and select balloons and you should see a list of three options for balloons we want to make sure that show only comment in formatting balloons is the option selected so there should be a check mark by this option if so if it's already checked you can go ahead and click out of that window. So let's select our title. Click on your home tab. And let's select bold, center, align your title. And notice that we um, selected balloons and requested that our text shows in line so that's why we have these balloons here and because we selected this text and we applied formats to the text it basically puts the formats in a balloon out in the margin so again you can just scroll down and see exactly what changes were made let's go back to the review tab 
and click your balloons button again by going to show markups balloons and this time we want to show revisions in balloon so now notice we also have the other edits that we made to our document in a balloon because we requested that it showed revisions in balloons go back to uh, balloons again drop down on show markup balloons and this time select show all revisions in line so that removed the balloons but it did not remove the strike ups from the document so let's go back to balloons we've looked at all three options of what it looks like when we have revisions in line, revisions in balloons, but we want to go back and check show only comment and formatting in balloons. Alright, let's go back to track changes, drop down and change the username back to Gilmore and like I said I think the initial I'm not sure is G, you should know what it is change the username back to what it is click OK and let's simply um, double click on the word U and type the word I <coughs> and notice that it went back to the red color because I am the original user the first user that made markups on the document. So this concludes using track changes feature as well as balloons. We basically went through the process of tracking changes to a document. We went to track change options to look at the different options. We also changed the user name to make it appear as though there were two users revising the document, one in blue and one in red. And we also went to show markup and we looked at the different options of revisions and balloon are in line, which allows you to look at the revisions in your margin and the balloon format. Go ahead and save this step. And I will see you on the next step.